why don't I start it off with Brent's year of swinging because that was a yes. big story. That was the biggest story, Salt I think, of swinging. the year, don't you? Yeah, when I think about it, I think about Shuli not believing Brent, and then Brent proving he was telling the truth. And <laughs> well, not a, on everything. <laughs> on, 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 on everything. On everything. Come on. Everything. On everything. Well, what didn't he prove? <laughs> what, that's a, that, listen. A lot, of, a lot of stuff that went down went down when none of us were there to validate or cover any of it. That's how Let's just throw that out there. Well, that's what happens with the sex. Stu- the stuff that we were sent on didn't necessarily end that way. The biggest staff story of the year, Robin. All right. Brent swinging with his beautiful wife, Caitlin. It's so steamy. I remember Caitlin got her new titties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, remember, there yeah. were a lot of false starts titties. <laughs> to the swinging because Caitlin was always injured. With her titties. <laughs> she, had no, titty, she had titty injuries. There was no false starts. Every, <laughs> everybody gets into it the same way, very well, slowly. Well, you went to the swinging parties. You by, do soft swinging first. Right, and, and Caitlin, her titties were still soft and, soft and, and sensitive. The, and, yeah, and healing. Now they've yeah. settled very nicely. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> this is where Brent... Just to recap the year, Brent revealed that he was into soft swinging. So you're making out with his girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you're looking at your wife. Yes. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hot. Yeah, Brent's weird. <laughs> <laughs> when you really think about Brent, you wouldn't be in the same room with him. <laughs> By the way, is it fair to say that Brent and his wife are the world's least successful swingers that you've yeah. ever met? It's early. Hook up. It's no early. Matter How long have you been married? It's early. On. Well, we've been married two years. That's what I mean. But you've but known no, her no, for no. longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's, and all of this has been going on. No, it hasn't. This is the, this is kind of a recent thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you ever wish you could turn back the clock and never have swung? No. Oh, my God. Do you ever wish you... What, 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 you think I'm going to say, oh, my God, because it's seriously, like, you seemed a year ago to be a much happier person to be around in the office and to know you actually seem much more depressed and have a lot more anxiety... I don't know. This doesn't seem to have been a good year for you. That's my perception of it. If anyone disagrees, but that doesn't speak. No. Well, I disagree. He, I mean, it has, I agree with Jason. It, Me too. It doesn't have anything to Ronnie do with too. swinging. Ronnie, tell him what you think. He's like a, a turtle now. His, his head goes. <laughs> you know, Sal's his, a turtle. His, his yeah, head Sal's goes. A turtle. It's like his head goes into a shell when he walks around here. He's like dead. You feel a darkness. Yeah, like he's not wow. here half the time. Roddy's talking about him the way people talk about someone who went to a battle. Yeah. That's a horrible thing. He does, he does. He's, he's distracted, I think would be a yeah. Are you saying distracted? that Brent is a shell of his former self? I, I think he's, he's very depressed now. And you feel it's a result I think he's of the in over, my, the Bottom line, I think he's in over his head with this whole thing. I'm not depressed. At all. No, you're depressed. No. <laughs> you got massive headaches. <laughs> well, that's the thing. But Ronnie and I were talking about the other day, your massive headaches. Yeah. To the point that, you know, you're incapacitated. That's a physical ailment, though. But well, you didn't have you... it last year. It, like, when well, it I, comes from Julie, stress. I've had these since I was 14. Stress, dude. Stress. Brent, that's, that's, that's what you're... You're not a doctor. I know, but I you're share not this with so, you. And, and, and I can tell you that it's been a lot more prevalent lately than it was... Prevalent. Like, <laughs> then, 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 I just thought I said it wrong. It was like relevant. <laughs> Learn how to talk, I, I don't you? remember you having this issue every every other day when, when because like it's a got, year ago. Well, it's gotten worse in the last three months. I feel like since that jackhammer guy got in there and the mm-hmm. cop, that uh, they're in your head. They're they're right, not. Ronnie? Yeah, that's not the case at all. Like, You'll never admit it, dude. Listen I know. To what it. Caitlin, they won't admit it. Listen to what Caitlin said. That's the problem. Out in L.A. I broke some rules. We had fights about that. That's, it was about my behavior, not hers. All right, let's go through the year in review with Brent Swinger. <laughs> Brent told us about a swingers event he went to. We asked him to size up everyone at the event, and this is where Brent actually reveals he's a seven. Yeah. Uh, are there, I mean, it's hard for you oh, to evaluate. Oh, they're gnomes. <laughs> are there, are, how do the men look on a scale of one to ten? Are there tens there as well? Yeah, no. there's, yeah there are. Yeah, and where are you on that scale? Yeah. I'm just curious. I'm probably, you, uh, well, because I'm actually in really good shape right now. Go so. ahead. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably about a seven right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Shirley. Well, Shirley's you know, a two, so right. I was strong <laughs> four. No, no way. Uh, you better respect that. Well, it, good, good for you. Good, good, good for you, being a seven, because seven. I'm a three. But um, <laughs> no, I've got. I, hey, look, man. I, I, I had was perfectly comfortable standing. Were in the there day. male tens there? Yeah, there was. There was a yeah. There yes, were guys there who were physically impressive. Yeah. How big big, big wieners. That? What? Big wieners. <laughs> I would say it, not none of these that were huge. Right. Huge. Everybody was in a everybody nice was, size. Everybody was six to eight, I'd yep. say. Wow. 
Well, we did learn a lot from Brent and Caitlin this year on swinging, and that's the bottom line. This show is where we learn. Hey, we're having a discussion about it. That's, that's, uh, that's right. what matters. And there's no part of you that wishes you had stayed monogamous and just been with your wife. No, really? uh, no. Like it's a, it's You're not life, sorry. You no, have no regrets. No, life's an adventure, and we're having a, we're figuring everything out. And it's, as we said earlier, Brent kept talking about being a swinger, but three months went by with nothing happening, and then Brent blamed his inability to swing on Caitlin's <laughs> new breasts. Here we go. <laughs> I, I heard uh, a rumor you and your wife are hanging out with a black couple this weekend hey, for potential is, swinging. Is that true? That was true. That is true. Was yeah. or is? Well, we, we went out with them on Saturday night. Right. And? Well, you know, she can't, she still can't do anything. Oh, like, but there was, dude, this is the longest <laughs> swinging I've ever heard of. G- Gary, she, it's a medical condition. She so can't do anything. Like, we went out with a get to know you. She can wear her bra. Yeah, what's wrong yeah, with her yeah, vagina? But, but what's, yeah, what's, how fun is that, fucking right. a girl with a bra on? When you right. meet up, are you, pre- when you're talking, are you pretending like you're not about to fuck the guy's wife? Is there small talk for a while before you get into it? Uh, no, you, th- that's the beauty of this is you're not pretending that you're not going to fuck the guy's wife. You're right. like, you're, t- I'm talking to this guy about what she likes and what, you know, we're, but then how isn't the deal closed? If everybody knows what they're there for, like I knew a couple, are you of following Vegas, the dude's story? The tits like, aren't ready yet, dude. He said his, his, wife, ready yet. Knew, his knew, wife's <laughs> titties aren't ready yet. I mean, I knew <laughs> the the <laughs> Brent's ready to fight with you right now. <laughs> I mean, it's a, every other day. It's another roadblock. And by the there, way, there everybody's no got medical conditions. That, that was over early there. on. Her tits had to heal. She had major by the way, surgery. Are you fucking stupid? Fucking your wife with a bra. Yeah. yeah what's fun. the problem? Yeah. I don't have a problem. I got never no slowed that. me down. It's actually would, hot. Sure. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. What fun is that? Enjoy your R-rated sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After months of almost swinging, Brent told us that it finally happened. And of course, Brent was kind enough to share all of the details. Once that's done, you know, Caitlin gets on her oh. back and the dude puts on a condom and he starts fucking her. Which way? Uh, missionary? missionary to begin with. Jesus. Oh, my God. She's wrapping her legs around him and everything? She's, yeah, she's got her legs spread and he's like going to town. Wow. <laughs> that was like, I don't know how you do this. Wow. So fucking steamy. At what really? point do you start crying uncontrollably? Like <laughs> well, I would. Uh, well, I mean, that's because you're a pussy and I'm a real man. So I don't know that I'm, I'm a, a pussy, uh, that I'm not I, letting strangers so, fuck uh, my wife. Hold life. on, Julie. So wait a yes, second, yeah, Brent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's continue. We're doing the year in review, and Brent, uh, who had this mind-blowing, uh, I, I guess we saw his whole chronology. We saw it all go Right in front of the our eyes. Rise the crash. Yeah, ebbs and flows. <laughs> There's no crash, flows. you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's your opinion. Shuley <laughs> became doubtful of Brent's story this past year. He thought that Brent might not be telling the truth about any of this. Brent was constantly telling Shuley he was too straight-laced. Here's another example of that. Are you guys hitting the gym real hard oh, uh, yeah. before the event? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I was in there yesterday. Because you would want to, you know, you're going to be nude in front of a lot of people. Yeah. But isn't it weird that yeah, you're that going... Yeah, that week at workout will make... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hey, it well, won't hurt. I mean, I'm al- I, I, I've already taken the weight off. It's just you want to be fine-tuned when you get in there. Right. But don't you want to be fine-tuned for your wife, not strangers? Surely, shut up, you square. What, what, what makes me square? Why is that don't square? Don't you want to be just with your wife? No, it's... A, why is okay, that so Andy crazy? Mayberry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, what a saga. And then, the, and then, as we point out, the whole L.A. thing happened, and that was really mind-blowing. That disaster. As Ronnie said, Ronnie's theory is that uh, Brent lost his mind in L.A. Yes. He went into the bathroom about 12 times. You can't count hour. that high. No, really? Well, I had people with me, not yeah. just me. Good, Ronnie's 100% right. Several people Sunglasses on, sunglasses off, into this, his studio, out of his studio, into the green room area, back into the bathroom. The guy couldn't sit still. Howard, at one point, he was sitting in this little studio we were all in it and he just and he's sitting there and he's shaking his head side to side he's got his hand on his head and he just goes this is easily the uh, worst failure of my radio career i gotta tell you brent i don't know i don't want some big good looking jacked up porn star fucking my wife you're on a whole different level than me huh oh well, i had a good time in la too with chicks Yes, you did. A little bit Brent too much told fun. Us, <laughs> Brent told us he fucked a girl in L.A. so long that he'd take a break to urinate. <laughs> I've never hottest, heard of this. Hottest sex story. Yeah, we got over. down on my bed and started getting undressed, and we had sex. Did you eat her out? No. You she, just put it in? She said she, said, she, said, she, she wouldn't let me eat her Would out. Would she blow you? She did not blow me. You put so your penis... Just... No, we, you know... We, How long we, were you inside of her? We kissed probably 40 minutes. Really? I had to get up. During P, change the condom and come back. So this is probably to- Wait a forty second. minutes. Total. You're saying you were fucking her. Yep. In the middle of fucking her, you had a P. I had to get up, P, and change the condom. 
Really? And then go back to it. You fucked so that steamy. long. Yeah. Wow. Ralph has a theory on Brett and Caitlin. You want anybody right. want to hear that? <laughs> well, he does hang with them, so maybe he knows something. Yeah, well, go ahead. I mean, you kind of said it, but I, I just think he thought this whole uh, swinging thing would be fun on the air, you know, and it just went horribly wrong. And it's it, it did not go should, wrong, Ralph. No, nothing's going wrong. wrong. No, it didn't. It be, because it just, it's just, it's not fun and it's not funny. And it's probably something they should have explored on their own and then kind of brought it on the air once they got a handle on it. You know what I mean? All right. So your theory is Brent... Um, Shouldn't share anything with the audience in the show that pays me. No, but I think I think Ralph's right in the sense that I think that you're not as unhappy with the swinging as the way you're perceived by the audience. I think that's what's weighing on you. That's not what's weighing on me at all. What is um, weighing on me? What is weighing on you? Yeah, yeah why do you got? Uh, why is your blood pressure 190 over 106 or whatever? Nothing is weighing on me. I'm having Come on, man. a physical ailment. Like I'm no. having, I'm in actual no. pain. No, that's not true. You see a therapist or a psychiatrist at all? Not currently. No. Well, okay, uh, wrapping up year in review in this area, there were a lot of great drops that came from this saga. Here's a montage of the best Brent drops from last year. Here we go. <laughs> so fucking steamy. Super steamy. Soft swinging. Can I smell your sweaty peeve? I'm going to heavy metal concerts and orgies. What are you doing with your life? Shut up, you square. There you go, Brent. <laughs> so you created a lot of good drops for Fred to use, and congratulations on you that. You know, there's one um, episode yep. that was missing. About the whole swinging thing. And that's when yep. Steve went with them to an event. Right. And really described what goes on and how it smells. Yeah. That's one. That's that's Steve's perspective. It was a little a bit slanted like Fox News. But. Well, you can see yourself, Brent. <laughs> well, you don't know anything. I you've do never been, know you've never been you there. You can't see yourself and, you know, what it looks like to someone who's not Involved. No, Robin should people tag that, along. People that aren't involved have no perspective. They don't he understand. He was looking at it. Yeah, he said people were blowing each other next to baked ziti. They were. <laughs> <laughs>